we all talk about how great California is, and it is. Its name was inspired uh, hundreds of years ago uh, by its beauty, um, and that mystique and voice and explanation, Madam Chair, as you so aptly note, was carried by Kevin Starr, who unfortunately passed away this weekend, 76 years old. He was a dear friend, uh, working on a project with him uh, up until uh, a week ago. Um, we know that he worked at USC. We know he was a state librarian. For those who've walked out in the West Steps, it was his inspiration to add those two new seals, one celebrating the Spanish and Mexican period of this country, of the state, excuse me, as well as the 40 generations of Native Americans. Um, you know, his eloquence was incredible. His books, um, the uh, backbone of any student of California history, of which I am one. And I want to, I think the best thing to do, if I could have permission to just read briefly. Without uh, objection. Madam, Madam President, thank you. Um, it really, his own words demonstrates his eloquence and his deep understanding of integrating um, kind of the essence of what California has always been about. On reoccurring national disa natural, natural disasters in 1993, he wrote, Southern California has used technology to materialize an imagined society of garden cities and suburbs. Now and then it must pay the price for its reordering of the environment. On diversity, he said in 2000, if there are any people on the planet, any language, any religion, not represented in California this very morning, this diversity then is the persistent DNA code of California. On California's rising Latino population, he wrote in 2001 in the New York Times, the Anglo hegemony was only intermittent phrase in California's um, era of identity, extending from the arrival of the Spanish, a man who understood history and poetry together. On the Central Valley, he wrote, Mesopotamia, the rice fields of China, the Po Valley, the Central Valley, stood in a long line of irrigation cultures which had, in turn, all given birth to civilization itself. And on, lastly, on California at the millennial in 2005, he wrote, California has long since become one of the prisms through which the American people, for better or worse, would glimpse the future. He understood California, he understood our essence, he wrote it, he captured it, he integrated it in history and who we are in a most modern way. He was a great, extraordinary, larger than life individual who just made unbelievable contributions to California in so many ways and to this senator. I ask that we adjourn in his memory.